Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today I am going quite a bit old school. Back in the day, I used to enjoy me some Star Fox, and I thought, why not try and make my version of one of the iconic characters from the game, Fox McCloud. Um, I found this kit on Amazon, and I thought it could be used as a base to kind of build off of. So I am going to turn this paper craft into a solid helmet, then sculpt a back to it and add maybe a, a reticle and stuff to it to make it super cool. So today we are going to build Fox McCloud's head from Star Fox. Let's get to building. So I bought this paper craft a while back off of Amazon and put it together using the very well put together instructions. I'll link it on my Amazon affiliates page in the links in the description. There's also a link down there for a Patreon page if you enjoy what I do and want to show some support. I popped out the perforated pieces, folded the creases the proper direction, and glued the tabs together. It's a very nice paper craft just by itself and has a very cool pattern by default. To make it a little more rigid and durable, I decided to pour some Smoothcast 300 inside the helmet in a few coats. I taped up the ear and eye holes, mixed up equal parts A and B, and then sloshed it around on the inside. Do make note that you should wear gloves and it will probably get all over your workspace. After about three solid layers, I took it outside and brushed on three more coats on the outside. To build up Fox's helmet on the back of his head, I bulked out the shape using some aluminum foil or aluminium foil for my British folks. Once I was happy with the shape, I hot glued it into place and then backfilled all the edges to make sure that it was solid and so I could get it ready for epoxy.
then I cover the foil in smooth on freeform air epoxy. It's super lightweight and dries rock hard. It's a two part of epoxy with a mix of equal parts A and B. Once it's thoroughly mixed, I push it onto the foil. I ended up using about half of the container to cover the whole helmet. It has a working time of 30 to 60 minutes and fully cures in 24 hours. Once dry, I went ahead and sanded down the helmet. At this stage, my add-on just kind of looks like a really bad haircut, so I decided to put some details on it. I looked at a bunch of different versions of the character, got a general feel for the style, and made up some of it as I kind of went along to fill in those flat spaces. I used two, four, and six millimeter What the Foam from Cosplay Apprentice because it's some super dense EVA and I figured it would work with what I was making with. I super glued it into play as I sculpted each part. I can already tell from these eye holes they're way too far apart for a person, but it falls in where it should on the mask itself. I drew out my cutouts, then popped a router bit on my Dremel, put on a respirator, and removed some of the material. Also, I went ahead and knocked out some vents on the side of the helmet. I put down three coats of spray paint to unify all the surfaces and ready it for my paint job. About three months later, I finally sat down to throw on some paint to this build. Since the build was simple in shape, I figured I could get away with just painting it by hand and it was a little too cold outside to put spray paint on. So I mixed a little bit of orange into this yellow plat effects paint and put down two nice even coats. It, it has great coverage. I find it kind of funny that I looked at my reference image and then proceeded to color the wrong part orange. So no worries. I just wiped it off and painted over it later. To get the fur-like texture, I just took a ragged chip brush with darker tints and drug it across the surface in one direction, kind of radiating away from the mouth. Then to highlight that polygon shape of my build, I went ahead and took a black paint pen to all the edges, kind of like cell shading or something. I have a huge bag of these random brands that I've picked up over the years here and there, and I pull from it from time to time.
For the eyes, I just used some sheer fabric and drew on the iris and pupils with some more of those acrylic paint pens I was talking about. There's a big old bag. Then I hot glued it on the inside. Even with the layers of paint on, you can still see perfectly through the material. I was ready to call it quits and say this was done and then I remembered I bought some sci-fi glasses a while back. So I dug through some bins and found it. Fox has this reticle that extends over his right eye and I figured I could cut this thing up in half and hot glue it into that vent. Wear a face shield while using a cutting wheel for safety because those things can bust and put your eyes out. In game it's technically green but blue is what I had so blue it is. are finished here is the end result overall i think it turned out okay um i i'll be honest with you i got midway through the build and kind of got discouraged with it it wasn't exactly turning out like i intended for it to so a lot of times i'll just put something off to the side to the back burner and move on to other projects and maybe get re-inspired in it later on. And this was one of those cases where somebody saw a photo of it and was like, ooh, I'm, I'm excited to see you finish that one. And it, it kind of motivated me to get back on it. So thanks, bro. Tyler uh, encouraged me to knock this one out. Um, I, I built this about three or four months ago, and it's just been sitting there. And once I started to get the paint on it, I kind of got into it. Uh, the fur detail, I think, turned out pretty cool. And then to kind of kick it up a notch and make it even more kind of retro type gaming look to it, um, I added back in black lines onto the polyagonal shape to kind of highlight it and make it look more retro. So overall, I think it's a, it's a pretty unique piece. It is a little bit too small and doesn't actually fit my ginormous head. Um, just, just barely, I can't get it over the top because it kind of cuts in just a little right there. Um, so it could probably fit an average sized person's head. Uh, I do realize there are some inaccuracies. This is my take on it and I'm building off of something that was prefabbed. So I, I, I was kind of limited in how I could get it accurate. Um, I realized that the reticle should be green and I, I, I just have a blue sci-fi glasses that that I used and that's just kind of how it was and I could have probably got some dye or something but sometimes you just kind of make it with whatever you got on hand uh, I do like how the eyes turned out however and because it's that sheer material you can still see through it so maybe you will try and make one of these helmets yourself and throw back an old school game inspired build that makes you want to Go play the game again. Yeah, I might have to. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. So I, I can't put it on, but the reticle does turn on. Alexa, turn studio lights off. 
Okay. Thanks to all my Patreons for your support. It is much appreciated. If you're not one of my Patreons and you enjoy what I do, please consider tossing a few coins my way to help keep the builds coming.